All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, finally today, whether you know it or not, private pond and lake management is a very big deal here in the state of Georgia, not to mention it's a vital piece of the agricultural puzzle. Especially if you want to catch those ginormous bass. In this month's Ranger Nick, UGA professor Dr. Nick Furman talks to a well-respected expert on this particular subject. You know, a year ago, we taped a show about pond management. I went online, checked out some of the YouTube views of that, and found out that three times the number of views have happened for that show than our other ones. It's obviously of importance. I'm joined by an important guy today. Dr. Jay Shelton with the Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources is with us. And we're going to talk about pond management, specifically not about the aquatic stuff necessarily, but more of the fish end. And Dr. Shelton is an expert on that. Dr. Shelton, I had an opportunity to interview the landowner of this place, and he shared a couple of key objectives with me. Obviously, a great place to start when we're managing a pond. One of his key objectives was he would like to be able to catch fish good sized fish, he said, and eat them with his grandkids. So one of the things that I have heard is that I can get on the phone and work with a county extension agent to take a water sample from my pond. And, and why would I do that? What's the importance of that? Water sample from the pond uh, can be chemically analyzed and the okay. results of that can help us in managing the pond so that the fishery is sustainable, okay. managing the pond to meet the landowner's objectives. That's beautiful. And through the magic of television, Check a look at this. We've got, we have results. Ta-da. We've got these results. Dr. Shelton, we, we're taking a look at this together. There's some data on this sheet that I got from my county extension office. Anything jump out to you about what's happening here at our pond? Yes. Uh, and it's good news in that the uh, hardness of this pond is 32 parts per million. Okay. That's good in terms of managing for, managing for fisheries because it means that uh, the base of the food chain where everything starts, okay. this pond tends, is probably going to be quite productive. Okay. And so these results mean that it is uh, possible to manage for a sustainable fishery to manage to meet the landowner's uh, expectations. Wonderful. What I want to do next is take some of these results, go out into the water. Let's start sampling some fish. Let's see what's out there. So let's do that next. All right. All right, Dr. Shelton. So I put the fishing rod down. I picked up the phone. I called in a county extension agent interpreted the results and the magic of TV showed you a couple things about the water quality in this pond. Now you talked about going in and getting a sample of some of the life in this pond. We're looking at a couple of different nets here. Can you tell me about what we're looking at? Sure. This is a, uh, an old technique but a very effective technique called a balance check and it's a great way uh, by use of a seine to evaluate the uh, sustainable condition of the fishery for this pond. Okay. What we're looking at when we say balance is a balance between the predator population, essentially the largemouth bass population, and the prey or the forage population, which in a pond would be the bluegill population. Okay. So we do two different things. We look for evidence of reproduction from this year of bass and bluegill, what we call young of the year fish, okay. very small fish. And that's a small saying, smaller holes small in the mesh. saying to hold that's those. Correct. Okay, that's great. Right. The other thing we're looking for is the relative abundance of intermediate forage. Intermediate forage means three to five inch bluegill primarily okay. because that's the best thing for growing bass in adequate numbers and growing them to a large size. Excellent. And a little bit bigger net for those teenager kinds of that's fish correct. there. So you've got the small seine, the medium sized seine, and then the insane. <laughs> So saning this pond tells us some really important things. We're first looking for evidence of bluegill reproduction from this spring, second evidence of largemouth bass reproduction from this spring, and third we're looking for evidence of intermediate bluegill. That's the three to five inch food that those bass depend on. We pull the seine in several different places around the pond, ideally between six and 15 times depending on what's needed, and we get that information and we do an analysis of that and it tells us a lot about the balance of this pond. All right, so the seines come in. We've collected the fish out of the seine. Dr. Shelton's got a couple of little fish here in a viewing window for us to be able to see. Looks like we've got a young bluegill, kind of the more rounder fish, and the longer fish there is a young largemouth bass. Very sophisticated technique you use here, Doc. Tell me, what does this mean to you? So this tells us that we did, in fact, have bluegill reproduction this spring. The peak would be in May and June and largemouth bass reproduction this spring. The peak would be in February or March and that's a very good thing. So this is an indication of sustainable fishing. That's great. So we've got a food source for the bigger fish and a food source for the younger fish as well. Excellent. Second viewing window we've got here. Doc, talk to us about this. 
So this is what we call intermediates. Intermediates are three to five inch forage. This is how you grow big bass. So the relative abundance of intermediates tells you whether or not you can sustain um, the growth and, and production of largemouth bass for, for multiple generations. So it's a good sign to see these fish. The abundance of these fish tells us a lot about the condition of the fishery. That's wonderful. And if you don't have a Dr. Shelton like we do today, County Extension can help you with all of these things. Excellent. Been hanging out with Dr. Shelton today. One out, tested water quality. Went out, sained for some fish, caught some little guys, caught some intermediates. Dr. Sean, where do we go from here? Well, so far the news is good. I think we've got a sustainable fishery here in this pond, and it looks like we may be able to meet the objectives of the landowner. But there is one more piece of the puzzle. We didn't assess the quality of the adult fish in this pond. For that, you kind of need to go fishing. And perhaps we need to come back and take another look at this pond. Oh, it sounds like we're going to have to have Dr. Shelton back on with us. That's not a problem at all. You've got me hooked. Thanks, Dr. Shelton, for hanging out with us today. Folks, I hope you check out Facebook. Look up Ranger Nick. I respond back to all the comments and questions, and I love it. While you're there, check out the Farm Monitor Facebook page. And until next time, enthusiasm's contagious, so pass it on. We'll see you right back here again next month. See ya.